For this Clarity series, this is the second of three videos, and this one is about the mechanics of auditioning voice actors. And for the purposes of this video, we're talking about actors who are auditioning for real people voices, as opposed to the kinds of cartoony voices you might hear in games and animated shows. When it comes to getting your point across clearly, the voices you choose can help or hinder that effort. That's why when I'm casting and producing a voice project for you, I pay careful attention to that process. Voice actors usually audition for parts in one of two ways. One way is with a demo recording that's a compilation of their past work. Another way is by creating a custom recording just for your project. Here's an example of a demo that was emailed to me. It's voice actor Paul Payton's corporate demo. Listen to a moment of it. So mm -hmm. that got us thinking, if we could come up with something that fit on top of a person's existing bed, where only the unit itself adjusted, we'd have less moving parts, less heavy machinery, and less cost to the consumer. America's retooling its industries, its technologies, its person. And here is Michael Jarmus's narration demo. Every dawn has a moment when the full power and potential of the rising star becomes realized. As time continues to pass, our clients will appreciate in an ever-increasing measure. When I'm looking for a single narrator for a project, demos like this usually do the trick. But when I'm casting a project for you that involves multiple character voices, I usually ask several actors to prepare customized audition recordings. Why? Clarity. Because when I'm working with multiple voices, I want voices that contrast with each other, that all sound different, so that when the characters are speaking, the listener can tell instantly who is talking. And customized auditions let me compare different voices in the actual context in which they will eventually be heard. Let's go to Donna Coney Island's home studio now. Don is going to audition for two parts. One is Fran, who's a supervisor, and the second is Susan, who's an employee who works for Fran. Donna will audition for both parts. Hi, this is Donna Coney Island as Fran. Susan, have you completed the inventory for this week? Susan, have you completed the inventory for this week? Uh, Susan, have you completed the inventory for this week? Now this is Donna Coney Island as Susan. Uh, yes, I have. It was completed early this morning. Yes, I have. It was completed early this morning. Yes, I have. It was completed early this morning. Now, here's Emily Reese in her home studio auditioning for the same two parts. Emily Reese as Fran. Susan, have you completed the inventory for this week? Emily Reese as Susan. Yes, I have. It was completed early this morning. Emily Reese as Fran. Susan, have you completed the inventory for this week? Emily Reese as Susan. Yes, I have. It was completed early this morning. Emily Reese as Fran. Susan, have you completed the inventory for this week? Emily Reese as Susan. Yes, I have. It was completed early this morning. Here at the studio, using the computer, I can now try the voices in different ways. Here's Donna doing both Fran and Susan. Uh, Susan, have you completed the inventory for this week? Yes, I have. It was completed early this morning. Now, here's Emily doing both Fran and Susan. Susan, have you completed the inventory for this week? Yes, I have. It was completed early this morning. This time we'll hear Donna doing Fran with Emily doing Susan. Uh, Susan, have you completed the inventory for this week? Yes, I have. It was completed early this morning. On that one, you hear a significant difference between the two characters. You can also hear that strong difference when I reverse the parts the two actresses play. Susan, have you completed the inventory for this week? Yes, I have. It was completed early this morning. So, when I cast a different actor for each character part, the advantage to you is greater clarity. So to summarize, when I'm looking for a single voice, like for a single narrator, an actor's normal demo reel usually does the trick. But when I'm casting a project for you with multiple voices, I prefer to work with multiple actors, 
and I like to get custom auditions. That way I can see how the actors will sound in context. Let's go to Skype now and talk to several experts, voice actors Paul Payton, Donna Coney Island, Emily Reese, and Michael Jarmus. When a producer is looking for a voice, how can they find you? If you Google Donna Coney Island, you're going to find me. PaulPayton.com. MichaelJarmus.com. Go to TheEmilyReese.com. We'll mention this again right after this announcement. <laughs> Today I'm talking about auditioning voice actors and the steps involved in finding appropriate actors for our clients. When a producer is looking for a voice, do you have different kinds of demos that prospective producers and clients can hear? I have a medical demo and a general commercial demo and a general corporate demo. I have a narration demo. I have a commercial demo. A commercial read, a promo read. Corporate narration, audio books, uh, uh, cartoon or video game characters. One area where uh, a different kind or a separate demo is usually required is for character voices, for animations and games. I have a character voice demo. I have an audiobook demo. There are people who do impressions as a separate demo. Even one that's a little bit musical. I just recently did an old radio play, four different characters. One of them was a typical 1940s Irish cop, you know? There's no murdered man in there. Often I'm cast as either the evil queen or the young boy. You know, and I get to talk like this. <laughs> or, come on, let's go play. Other areas where separate demos are required are pharmaceutical, other kinds of technology industries. The clients want to know that the actors can talk about the subject matter in a way that sounds fluid and fluent. It's important to have a demo in the pharmaceutical area. They seem to have developed a subspecialty in being able to say very large words and make them sound like English. Medical, um, even legal, you have to sound just like you know what you're talking about. And that's the challenge there. I find that for projects with multiple character voices, auditions are often better than demo tapes. It allows the client to hear your version of that character in context with voices provided by other actors. When the client can hear the actual words of their script being spoken by the performer, I think it, it makes more of an impact. It gives you the opportunity to bring it to life. A lot of very successful people audition like crazy and it works for them. I usually put my favorite version first and then the second version is usually the one I think is what they really wanted. They get to hear their words actually come to life. I think that really brings it home. Thank you for helping me out today. That's Donna Coney Island, Paul Payton, Emily Reese, and Michael Jarmus. Thank you very much for your help, and thank you for watching.